the boundary between turbulence and order. It's a place where no rules apply. That's all life is. The Glass Castle is a memoir about my childhood. It's about my family and these incredibly complicated parents who I had. Dr. Taylor said we should be going to real school. A real school, huh? <laughs> this is as real as it gets, kids. You learn from living. Pack yourself a toothbrush. We get to follow a character from childhood into adulthood all the way and see all the twists and turns. I'm over the moon about this casting. I don't think a lot of people would get the character the way she does. Everything that she says is so real and she's fearless. Why do you think all of us ran away from you? We were drowning. Rex was more of a dreamer than one who realizes those dreams. There was just a lot about him that made her growing up difficult. This is somebody who's so conflicted, who's an extreme of good and bad, of loving desperately, but then also destroying. You have a right to be angry. I know you love him. You'll regret it if you don't come home. Naomi worked so hard to understand this woman, who is a bundle of wild contradictions. Rosemary is an artist. She's an incredibly creative person, not your conventional archetype for a mother. I called the book The Glass Castle because when times got really tough, Dad would pull out the blueprints of the glass castle and would work on them. And he never did build us a big fancy house, but I've come to realize that he gave me something much more valuable, and that was a hope and a dream for the future, that if a parent gives you that, Let's go! then you're lucky. I told you so.